move. Having joined the Yankees organization in 2012, Matt Ferry worked his way up, and now he serves as their director of baseball operations in New York. Ferry is part of the group that has made the trip to San Diego for the winter meetings, where Jack and Meredith spoke with him earlier. Thanks, Bob. As we all know, Yankees fans want to see a deal with Aaron Judge. They have not been able to get that done yet. However, they were able to make some news today, extending Brian Cashman, a guy that you have worked under, Matt, for a very long time. So what has it been like working under Cash, and what stands out to you about the way he goes about his business? Cash is an amazing boss. Uh, I'm a little biased, but uh, he's an incredible boss to work for. He's someone that lets you do your job. He doesn't look over your shoulder, seeing what you're doing or not doing. He lets you grow and, and spread your wings. Uh, he gets input from all sides. Um, we talk about balanced decision making between scouting and analytics. He's all about that. Um, he listens to all sides and makes good sound decisions. And I think that's something that's really served him well in this, in this industry, in this baseball industry, in this market, New York, for so long. Um, he's someone that, you know, hasn't had a losing record under his reign uh, his entire time as general manager. And that's something I think we all take pride in, something that uh, he should be proud of, certainly. But it, it's something that has allowed him to do this job for so long in a market that, you know, is, is really difficult to navigate. I'm glad you talked about the input from all sides. Brian has talked about how he wants to surround himself with smart people and he wants to hear what they have to say. So if you could be our mole inside the winter meetings suites, what are those discussions like as you guys are in the suite and making decisions on possible player acquisitions, possible free agent signings? Yeah, I mean, the, the war room or, or the suite upstairs, it's it's a, a group of, of, of all of Cash's trusted advisors, right? It's Mike Fishman, our assistant GM, uh, Gene Afterman, Tim Nairing, Jim Hendry on the scouting side, Matt Daly, our director of pro scouting, Kevin Reese is up there, Eric Schmidt, David Grabner, our director of quantitative analysis. He's getting input from all sides. We're, we're talking with every different team, working the phones, talking with free agents, getting price tags, and evaluating the entire landscape and market, how to make our team better for next year and beyond. And that's something that we're grinding, you know, not just here in San Diego, but throughout the offseason. But it's, it's nice when we can get everyone under the same roof, uh, talk through, maybe do some face-to-face -face with agents or other teams, and try to navigate what's best for, for our team. And as we figure out what's, what's going to do, uh, make our, our team in 2023 even better. You talk about constantly evaluating. That's something that this organization is always doing, both internally and the players that are out there on the market. When you look at the 2022 season, obviously did you, you did not reach your ultimate goal of winning a World Series, but what are some of your biggest takeaways from the season? Uh, we, we had a lot of successes. Obviously didn't reach our, our ultimate goal, but if you look at the first couple months of the 2022 season, it was um, a, a lot of fun, a lot of successes. It was one of the closest knit groups that we've had from a player perspective. Booney's talked about that a a lot throughout the course of the year. Uh, guys like Rizzo really impacting the room for a full season. Um, bringing guys in like Harrison Bader halfway through the year, providing the spark at the, in the postseason with him. It was a group that uh, had a lot of fun and, and we want to build on that that core, that group uh, in 2023. Um, and, and I have to give Booney and his staff credit. They're, they're a group of innovative coaches, support staff that is always there to provide information or nuggets to our players. We have a fully operational uh, system and support staff and I think that's what showed a lot of the successes that we had as a, as a team and uh, an AL East crown. Matt, what is the key to making all of those departments work? Scouting, analytics, sports science, the medical side, everything that goes into making a winning baseball team. It, it's a challenge. There's, there's a lot of uh, departments, a lot of people within those departments, uh, sometimes a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and, and that's what, why Cash is, is, is our leader and has, has done this for so long, is he gets that input from a variety of people and, and tries to uh, make sure that no stone is left unturned when it comes to a player, whether it's uh, the scouting report, whether it's makeup, whether it's performance science, um, whatever we need to know about a player, we want to see if there's untapped potential, if there's any low-hanging fruit. We're, we're doing everything Every little bit that we can to try to maximize player performance and try to get the, the most that we can um, out of players on the field. And I think some of those guys have shown through over time in the last couple of years, guys we've acquired or guys that we've signed. Uh, and hopefully it's impacted wins and losses on the field. Quickly before we send it back to the studio, 10 years in the Yankees organization, four years.
years in your current role. What's been the biggest change that you've seen in this organization? Oh, biggest change. Um, it, it continues to, to grow. The industry continues to grow. There's, there's, as I talked about, more people. The winter meetings are a huge operation. There's, there's job seekers here. There's vendors. There's teams. Media. It, it's a huge event, and it gets bigger and bigger every year. And I think that's a good thing for our, for our industry. Um, more eyeballs on the product. We looked at uh, coming out of the last CBA. Um, there's more eyeballs, more revenue, and that's that's a lot of uh, fun. But it's a bigger challenge every year because everyone has higher and higher expectations of not just our team but the sport in general. And Matt once was one of those job seekers. We have covered that on our shows, Meredith, so we should tell everyone out there who is roaming the lobbies looking for a job that this is the guy you want to follow. You want to follow his path. Seems to have worked out pretty well so far, Matt. Thank you for the time. Thanks, guys.